impromptu or planned? Planned. <laughs> um, personal or public? Personal. Talent or skill? Skill. Concrete or conceptual? Concrete. Okay, so is it who you are or what you do? It's who I am. So expand on that. I've said often that to me, creating art is like breathing. It's like that need for oxygen. If I don't create, I don't feel whole at all. I have to be doing something. And also, I get bored easily. And that's why I'm constantly looking for a new challenge, something I've never done before, or capturing uh, a physical feature, like hands, for example, are very difficult. And so I'll do a lot of paintings with hands until I understand how they go together, and then I'll move on to the next challenge. What emotion do you feel when you look at the work and you know that it's done? Satisfaction. <laughs> I mean, like I said, all my work, there's always a challenge. There's something I need to learn, something I need to understand. So once I've reached that point, that's a great satisfaction for me. And it's on to the next challenge. Is somebody going by or something? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Man, either Jason's really hungry. Yeah, yeah. Should have had breakfast. <laughs> <laughs>
I can display the emotion of the model, but who I am, I feel, is not in the work. Do you ever feel conflict between the high technique and getting someone to relate with these? No. No, because for me, as I mentioned before, I paint for me. I don't paint for the audience. If the audience connects with the work and likes it and buys it, that's great. If no one ever buys it, that's fine. You're good that. I paint for me. As you'll notice, I mean, you don't see females in here. And a lot of people have asked me about that. And the reason for it is the, mus the musculature uh, of the male figure is more exposed to the surface and for me it's all about shadow and light. So if you look at the paintings here you'll see a lot of strong shadow sculpting the form and having that muscle so thin under the skin really emphasizes that sculptural quality for me where a female just naturally is more soft and rounded and doesn't get that sculptural form like that. And uh, if a woman did, it would be seen probably as unattractive to the majority of the people out there. When you think of masculinity in current culture, and you look at my artwork, there's actually a conflict between the two. My men in my paintings are emotional. They're introspective. That's not traditional American masculinity. Um, so I think that piece is what you could consider the elusive. I'm showing people something that you don't see in American society. That's what people want to see, but it's not there. So they can connect with it more as a way to bring that out in the world that it isn't out in the world. So who are you in the work? And then do you kind of see yourself as, as more like a camera or a mirror? Yes, that's a good way to put it. That's a very good way to put it. And that kind of goes to what I was trying to get across earlier. Um, I try to not put who I am in the work. I want to reflect who they are in the work and the the vulnerabilities that they may not show publicly, I want to pull that out of them and show it in the work. And that's why a lot of times I let the model get lost in themselves rather than constantly directing them and interfering with that emotion and that introspection that I want to capture. You know, if you want to be a true artist, a true professional artist, whether you feel the inspiration or not, get in there and create something every week. In addition to creating the work, there's the matting, the framing, the marketing, finding galleries to show the work, and come up with an approach that is your signature. You want to paint what speaks to you personally and if it sounds great if it doesn't so what you need to satisfy yourself first but definitely get that core set of tools and skills in under where you are to truly understand them so that you can produce consistently piece after piece uh, don't go after the prize first learn how to do the core of what you need to do first whatever medium is it good yeah it's really great glad my knee didn't cramp <laughs> okay. i was waiting for him to finish <laughs>
magic. That's right. It's all going to pop in. It's the magic behind the scenes.